मेरे लैपटॉप पर मैं फोन निकाल दूँगी मेरे लैपटॉप पर Okay, we are I think now recording. Yes, we are. So, uh welcome everyone to the to do, do, April 30th uh iteration of the Mike Profile Live Hangout. I keep telling myself I'm going to get the audience applause track in here. Um so the meeting a, a link to the meeting minutes are in the group chat and it is everyone's sh uh shared responsibility to take notes. If you are on this call right now um in the future if you join sometime during the call make sure you open up the link and add your name uh to the attendee list. Okay? Um I see the link. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. I can always see the link in the chat though. Is this one of those cases where if you join afterwards it doesn't show prior chats? Yep. Okay, I'll add it again. I good morning, good night everyone. Oh, thanks. Hello. Hey, Amelia. Hello. Hello. All right. So. Oh, I was doing in winter. <laughs> look, look, look at here. <laughs> you know what it is? It is actually raining this week in Santa Monica. Oh, wow. Really I'm extremely happy. It's like, what? Raining? The mountains are happy? This is the, the year that has rained, rained the most that I have seen. In like okay. I apologize. I'm going to start the meeting. We've said in the past that we're going to start the meeting at the top. So, um. And for some reason I cannot let me try this again share the screen. Oh here we go share and Google Chrome micro profile I think this is it. Okay I should be sharing a Chrome browser. Yep. Okay nothing compromising showing. All right. So uh let's see here. First discussion micro profile 3.0 platform uh status uh you want to lead this one Kevin Sure So um <clears throat> I think we're in pretty good shape um for that um for the uh I guess I'll just quickly run through just to see if anyone has any issues that they are aware of health check I saw that Martin oh, was on Yeah, hello. Uh basically we are now waiting only for TCK for readiness and liveness which should be done tomorrow. So we are hoping to do a release code uh can the date by the end of the week. Okay. Good. And um metrics 2.0 um, with Heiko? Yeah, we have 2.5 more pull requests um and then we build an RC but again our previous snapshots are sort of like rcs already and yeah. have been validated by implementations or by at least one implementation um but i think o open liberty also did some work in that area yes so we are good i guess okay good um i don't know i guess i didn't catch it is andy on for rest client yep yep i'm here um, um we're about to uh We're we're about to create a, a release candidate probably today if it, uh, or tomorrow at the latest. Good, good. So I think we're in good shape. Okay. So the new one that popped up, well, it was new for me this week anyway, was Open Tracing 1.4. Is Pavel on? Okay. No, anybody, I don't see. Him. Anybody I know? Have, I did have a brief conversation with him. Um, and i think that he might have some breaking changes which is why he wants to target um 3.0 but we didn't have a chance to finish the discussion oh okay because then that would bump his level as well then his version number yeah i i need to finish that conversation ken i'm not sure if you know or any, or any other red hat uh no he uh didn't respond when i asked about that I know okay. when I when I was talking with my contact here within IBM, I didn't get the impression that anything was breaking. So I don't know what would be coming in. So that that seems to be news. Well, to he me. asked the question. So um I'm I, I'm because he asked the question, I'm implying that he might have a change. So um okay. I'll, I'll I'll continue to uh follow up that thread. And we'll okay. post something to the uh group. Okay. Because the 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 one question that he did have is, you know, when do these component releases have to be complete in order for us to do a final release? And I know that we've we've talked about it in the past, so I just posted it again here that it's May fifteenth, 
and that that would be the deadline. As I was making that update, you know, and um, I was updating the open tracing issue as well. Um, one thing I was wondering about is whether or not the updates for um, metrics 2.0 and health check 2.0, are there any ripple effects to other components, you know, uh, with the other 1.x versions of the other components? I would guess health check probably doesn't have any integration points, but maybe metrics, is there anything there that we have to be concerned with? Um, fault tolerance wanted to change their metric names that are emitted to make use of the new tagging um, that we support. But as far as I know, Emily told Don yesterday that they don't do it now. Yeah, so basically, it's, uh, it's, uh, we couldn't uh, rush in to, to do all these changes uh, to target that. And also, it's uh, because um, this is kind of slight improvement. So at the moment, it still works. So oh. and uh, we can we can make the change uh, to target for the next um, major umbrella release. Okay, so Emily, just to clarify for me, so this would be something that you could add later. It's kind of like an enhancement, but their changes that are going into metrics 2.0 won't break you. Uh, won't unless we consume it. So at the moment, we are not consuming these new uh, uh, APIs and new functionalities. And then, like, uh, and then for example, micro profile 4.0, and we can integrate. We can use the new, uh, I mean, metrics name and tag. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, that's what we, yeah, what okay. we discussed uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay, um, and any other integration points like that that we have to be concerned with? Anyone I, is aware of anything? I heard, uh, I heard the Open API is going to do a major to the O release. Uh, uh, I mean, anybody from Open API? I thought is the kind of they have done quite a bit. Yeah, I, I I talked with them about that, and they just they said that they couldn't be ready in time for the May fifteenth, but they yeah. are looking. Uh, I'll let everybody know they are looking at some possible breaking API changes. So when they do decide to do Open API 2.0, it 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 will start that conversation as to when do we do another microprofile breaking API platform change. Mm -hmm. But we yeah. don't have to have that now. Yeah. So we can once we get this out, we can discuss next year which one. Maybe we can do the February major release. Yeah, I'm, okay. Yeah, it all depends on the timing of that. Yeah, so I I would like to like uh, uh, talk with the Open API folks more, so that uh, we can know for tolerant to uh, I mean, hopefully target a similar time frame uh, with the Open API to the O. And then hopefully influence micro profile for the all release timeline. Okay. I see. Uh, I saw Eric in the audience, so hopefully it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm here if you can if you can hear me. Uh, everything. Yes. Yeah, everything that uh, Kevin said, I, I agree with. Uh, we do have some changes. They are breaking changes. They weren't significant enough, I, I think, for us to really push to get them into this release. Um, so but yeah, we can help drive the next major release for sure. Okay. They're, they're definitely breaking changes. And, ha and, happy, and happy to work with um, fault tolerance to work on the timing for that. Yeah, okay, thank you. The other thing is um, uh, I talked about um, uh, how to track the backward incompatible changes in both Incan's um, architecture meeting and also I send a um, uh, Google group discussion and then uh, hopefully in the, uh, is a, tomorrow I will drop it up uh, with the kind of rules, release rules documented in the wiki so that metrics tool and the health check tool uh, can follow the, pro uh, the process. Okay. Like, uh, yeah. Good. Yeah, we probably need to revisit that to make sure that we, <laughs> one thing that, to make sure that we haven't 
skirted those guidelines and then update them as we yeah are working okay. through this yeah good thanks okay i didn't have anything else um for the micro profile 30 release John, you are on mute. I still on mute. <laughs> I love it. Using different machines, that is what happens. Oh, that's weird, because normally it's synced. Um, I apologize. Uh, so I think uh, we Ken is next, but I think someone from the Eclipse Foundation had some questions down here. Um, I'm just wondering if anyone from the Eclipse Foundation is on. No, the um, the question that you see asked the developers to developers is part of the issue, uh, the bug that we're working on. It's one of my items for update today. Okay. All right. So let's. Uh, all right. Um, let's I'm see. You Amelia, you didn't yeah. put your name on there, so okay. we can't. We cannot address it at today's meeting. <laughs> I, I did. It's there. You see that? It says there is a bug, and as for developers, it's all part of the same bug. I'm just being nice, for the, and I am assuming that no one has seen the agenda before the call. I mean, oh, well, that, no. <laughs> Kevin and I go through the agenda every week ahead of time, or every other week. Yeah, so. But you know, you cannot assume that for everyone. Anyway, I will like, fix it. <laughs> all right, so Ken, uh, you're up with the next topic. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> Basically, this is something uh, I've been thinking about for a while um, and seems to have become a bit more of an issue of late. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. So basically, obviously, uh, Amelia's been pushing the last probably month, six weeks, the whole getting more community involved in terms of um, blogging, uh, talking about microprofile, all that kind of stuff, which is great. Um, but I have more a more direct concern around the involvement in national creation of the specifications in that for the most part, it's usually either Red Hat or IBMers that are participating in the specs with a couple of others sprinkled in here or there. Now, I know uh, we've got a much smaller community than... Java did or Jakarta does, but my concern is that if we don't start looking at ways to either improve the, or not improve, uh, increase the amount of uh, vendors and implementers and community that we have that are involved in the specs, that will basically be seen as a two horse spec, um, which isn't good for micro profile um, and isn't good for Red Hat or IBM because we basically then say, oh, our way is the best and we do what we say and that may not be the best way for certain things. There might be other viewpoints that we're not taking into account. Um, so I certainly think the stuff Amelia has been promoting could lead to that, but I'm, I'm concerned that that's not going to solve the whole problem, uh, particularly in light of uh, Clement mentioned to me this morning that they've acknowledged that Lightbend has basically stepped away from the reactive stuff with microprofile. Um, I know uh, probably for the last three to six months, I'd say uh, Ondro and Payara's involvement seems to have reduced quite significantly. So it's concerning from my perspective that we're losing input from vendors and we're not adding new vendors to replace them. So it's basically like open up the floor for anyone with any ideas as to how we can improve that situation. So I've got um, one important point I, I, I kind of want to add to that. And that is, it doesn't have to be vendors. It could be individuals. So, uh, you know, for the folks on this call or anyone that, you know, watches after the fact, or even, you know, from a marketing perspective, um, you know, we should, you know, not just target, implementers um, of the specs, but also just, um, you know, hopefully someone with some, some expertise to, to get involved with the specs. But, you know, basically any individual can participate. Let me add something here because um, one of the tasks for today that is in the agenda is contributing. We have had a massive complaints on how coders 
they want to add new features and be the ones adding code to the repos and different sections they are interested, cannot even own the issue or it's just very complicated to start and complete a task. One of the major things that can has hit is that you need to be a committer to be able to do all these things. We, via the bug that we have resurrected for the last four years to today, May 3rd is the date that will change pretty much all the infra of the 360 something projects in Eclipse. We're testing it and it's not ready, but on May 3rd, we will have the first specs that we allowed a contributor of any project under Eclipse to be awesome at it. Not, it doesn't need to be a commit. I think this is the step that not only this project, but all projects need. We need much more ownership on how we do things and be socially responsible to enable that particular voice to own a signature with the code, right? You can say I have been pushing marketing. No, not, not really. All of it together. To me, it's super important that a coder has to say, hey, I started this PR and I committed it and I was able to finish it with the help and the review of the, com the, com the committers, right? We are facilitators. If you're a committer, that are currently 47 in micro profile, then you are a facilitator, not a lead, a facilitator. So when we lose a partner, that might not be because of micro profile, that might be because of internal things that are happening within True. their companies. But we do need to see how do the infra that currently exists operate to enable those coders, the, the individual ones especially, right? To say, hey, I, I come from South Africa, I come from Latin America, I come from Europe and I wanna help and I don't have a company to back me, but I can sign the Eclipse membership and at zero cost, I can add value. That is what the bug that we have in place is so important and it is becoming a reality for everyone, not only microprofile, but everyone. And I think Ken has a point. We are concerned, but we can't force vendors to join and add resources. We don't have the formality to say, if you become a microprofile vendor, you need to add three, four coders, right? We don't have that. And that has made for this project to be, to continue to grow because we're lighter. So that's my feedback on this. And now I have gone through the, uh, the baggage. Yeah. So we're, we're done know. with that item. Mm -hmm. okay, so do you know why? Sorry, it's Philip. Yeah. Do, do, do we know why the vendors is, is stepping back? Um, can, can we uh, it? Not directly. Um, as Amelia said, there could be things happening internally that means they don't have the time to work on those things. It could be they don't see microprofile as the way forward. We just don't know, unfortunately. Um, but I mean, so I, I would want to take this moment to once again thank Payara for really putting a lot of work into start.microprofile.io and I wouldn't want to say that that is in any way uh, not a good contribution um, right as well you know we've done the majority of the marketing efforts with all the logos and the websites and the shirts and all that stuff like that so I wouldn't want to say that it is a two-man show I think that might be kind of simplifying it too much. Uh, maybe it's a four company show, but that's not so terrible. Yeah. And David, just, just I mean, that's why I added the thing to the agenda item that we don't want to, you know, marginalize the other contributions that people are making other than leading the specs. Right. Um, yeah. I, I think, you know, and I'm not trying to put words in Ken's mouth, but the, the you know the interesting thing about specs, right, is if, if you don't have broad participation, the specs are going to be whatever just that small group of vendors think it should be, right? And that may um, that may reflect their implementations, right? What's best for their implementations? I'm not saying is it's 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 by design, but but different implementations kind of have different um different ways of solving problems right sure. so it's I, I, I think slightly different but yeah I, I i know that from my participation in the jwt uh you know work it was very much a lot of voices from ourselves and ibm and red hat um you know and and our our john you know uh, 
Ariane would come and give perspective. So I felt that that, that particular spec I thought was very healthy. Yeah, plus one. Well, yeah, I, I just to clarify, I'm not, I'm not saying that microprofile as a whole is a two horse race. I'm saying the more the specification side of it is that way at present. And I'm not certainly not saying that there aren't individuals and members of some of those implementers that do participate in some specifications. I'm just talking about as a whole, given the 10 specs we have, very few are more than just IBM and Red Hat across all of them. So, Ken, let me just tell you flat out, because not everyone wants to be that person, but I can tell you what I am getting and I continue to get the feedback on that. They, those calls, the specification calls, are not, use, are not useful um, because they are not well documented. They don't proceed to create PRs and issues. They don't enable asynchronous, asynchronous work. And if you're not in the call, you are not able to, to help on the specs. Pretty much 95% of the coders that are interested in each of the eight or nine eight specifications globally, when I ask, when I see them in a conference or even via email, have this feedback for us, which I ask them to actually say it in those calls. However, they just believe if it happens every week and you are not in the call, there are no tasks for later. We have done a disservice by adding calls and not becoming a written via issues and PRs. Code-wise, clearly we say if it doesn't happen in the, in the call, it doesn't happen at all. That is a mistake. We can adjust and become much more proactive on how we code, I mean those coders, by maybe withdrawing the weekly calls and making it be bi-monthly, sending a doodle pool by those interested groups should you know which ones are, gathering the forces. Clearly, we can set mm. by PR. This is a call that is happening currently. We have the scheduled three different calls. Well, and this is important. I, I guess I would have a couple of comments there. One is the number of meetings we had about six weeks, say eight weeks ago, and I was shot down as a, they're not too frequent. Um, and I guess in addition to that, I would say that certainly for um, rest clients, which I'm involved with, um, I would imagine for others as well, there is a lot of discussion that happens on issues and pull requests. And at least for the REST client stuff, the meetings is usually talking about any open pull requests and whether there's any work outstanding or whether they're um, ready to be merged. We're not really talking about, we might come up with some new ideas and then create issues from them, but most of the time we're going off what the issues that have been raised by the community are asking for. You know what I think? I think we have missed the mark on saying how the process works under each specification. Let me be blunt. If we can spend some time, like 200 words, say this is what, how this group operates and just continue to repeat the same message, we can enable those that are interested and are already coding and sending these blogs that are amazing. They are, they are, most of the, the blogs that are coming in are from vacuum coders because they it's so easy to join if you go to the Git, but they do not know how to help us directly, right? Because we have not been a constant and under each specification to say, you know, we have one thing that Philip has just sent the update, how to contribute, and that is a step forward. But what I'm saying is, let's be a little bit more boring and repeat the same message under each spec. If the spec is using Git, it's using a Slack, I don't freaking care, but we have not stated it. So then we complain that we are not getting different voices. We don't need, like we need vendors, we need individual contributors, but we have not done the job to enable those to be just, hey, it's that easy to, to submit code. Uh, yeah. Can I say something, no. Amelia? Can I stop you for a minute? Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, I think uh, let's, uh, let's think about uh, the Hangout meetings. Uh, like a few months ago, we don't have many like attendees, and then suddenly we have a lot more attendees. I think that's uh, due to one of the factor is uh, we tweet. We uh, I think the the, the micro profile tweet and uh, to publicize this. Why don't we uh, like a tweet about uh, the different uh, like uh, all the our calendar? Yes, the different as that. We are waiting for those issues. We should try that first. And then advertise, actually, we are going to meet up. Like, uh, for example, uh, the, tomorrow we have Fort Torrance, uh, like a hangout at 3 o'clock. We can tweet about it, and people will join. 
uh, hopefully we join and they find it interesting. Maybe somebody like find it interesting and we stay. Having said that, I think for for tolerance, we do have uh, like an individual, independent people uh, attending. So it's a Red Hat, IBM, and some uh, others. So that's kind of quite a healthy uh, group already. I so think we should try it out. I think it's great, and one of the things we want to do in Q2 is add every single call that is happening to add you, before it happens at least twice, because I think it's helpful. But it takes much more than those things to get people or uh, attendees to attend. It takes private contact to say, hey, can you attend? Or someone that writes something or like submits some code, can you attend? Even at the last minute, you will be surprised. But you know, it's like a guerrilla marketing and the level of outreach. It's not that just people showed up to this call. No, no, it didn't happen because we tweeted. We tweeted afterwards. It's just a constant on this. I think your comment, Amelia, at the beginning was very accurate. Um, I think we should probably favor uh, more discussions on the mailing lists. Uh, the, uh, the calls are great, but you know, if you are not able to attend the calls, as Amelia said, it, it's really hard to get, to get into conversation. So, you know, tracking the issues in GitHub is fine. Um, we, we should have definitely more discussions on the mailing list so that, you know, everyone can contribute uh, on their own time zone and their own time uh, because we are kind of distributed all over the world and it's not always easy to, uh, to get into those calls. Yeah. I would just also just gently point out that uh, you're making a resource observa observation, right? You know, so uh, obviously, you know, Red Hat is a plus $2 billion revenue company and IBM significantly larger than that. Uh, but in terms of percentages of our companies dedicated to Jakarta EE and micro profile, we are obviously dedicating a way higher percentages of our entire companies to these two efforts. It just doesn't have the same splash that you guys can have with, with the, you know, you know, with the resources you have. They're, they're slightly larger. Like I don't see you, Ken, on the Jakarta EE side of the fence at all, right? Uh, but I'm on both sides of the fence. And so, you know, there is some cost to that, to spreading ourselves between moving both efforts forward. Uh, and that's just the way it is. Uh, also, you know, if you're out there and listening and you're using Pyara and you're not a Pyara customer, well, if you were, you would help create more Pyara in the world and you would help their ability to participate on the specifications more. Same for Tommy and Tommy Tribe. So that's just the way the industry works. So I think uh, we, we need to try, at least uh, try uh, how to like uh, tweet about it and uh, publicize it and uh, then we can revisit. With, I think uh, this is the problem. We do want to get uh, more community involvement. Mm -hmm. And then I say, and I have said it like three months ago, everyone that is very active in those calls, please go and submit a ticket and just like follow the example of the community call and how it got set up with minimum requirements, and then you can do a copy and paste on each project. That's so simple. Don't expect me to do that because we want, you know, someone that is interested, let's ask that person. If someone is here interested in joining the, you know, like something, let's distribute the task. And someone that is not a 24-7 microprofile can, you know, ask someone else that's so new to file the ticket. I is saying that, those tickets can be created super quickly, but it needs to be submitted. There are no secretaries, and I think it's so much fun that we can own it across, right? Yeah, I mean, David, I don't want to put anything in Ken's mouth here. I also have been sharing the concern for the metrics back for quite a while that it's only a lo low number of participants coming from different areas. I know some Tommy folks have been joining for some time and Payara have been there for some time. I certainly see what Amelia is saying that um, a call is something where you have to be present. You have to make room and time for it to, to be there at this exact point in time, which is very often hard. 
So m doing more offline certainly makes a lot of sense here. But um, when I or Ken are worried, it does not mean that we accuse you or Payara or Tommy Tribe or anyone else that they don't work or do not do enough work, be it in absolute or relative terms. It's just um, a concern for me that we don't get the, the best ideas because the, the group that is providing ideas is potentially too small and if the group were larger we would get more good ideas and could get even better specs out there for every one of us to implement and use yeah i fully agree so the the the, the takeaway for that is that uh people who have full-time jobs that are not a vendor right the, ind the individuals in the world everybody on this call who made time for this call thank you and the odds of them being able to make time for 10 calls, right? Because that's how many specs we have. Zero. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so, and so we're, we're seeing the impact of that, right? And so if the majority of the work is going to be done on calls and the odds are a full-time person who is an independent being, not being able to attend 10 hours of calls a week, you know, we're going to get no change in our participation. Plus one, and I am saying, I'm, I'm not going to speak for everyone else, but the 100 and plus, they have told me, I can't attend those calls, and most of the work is done on those calls. You missed me. And I'm saying, those people choose not to send and be blunt on, because they don't want to be that guy or that woman that say, you know, because it's my fault I cannot attend, I am, I'm busy. But if we do more writing, like Genui, like all these 100 and plus people, I haven't counted, right? Like want to help but cannot. So then in the side work and the vacuum, write, write these amazing blogs and help us with the blogs and push the knowledge. I think we will immediately see the adjustments and we can trace it via metrics because we have gets and the contributors. We have currently nine pages on who has contributed. And James from Lightband created an application that allows you to export who individuals have been coding and helping, and we have that data, right? We need to increase it because it's very low. It's like less than 40 people. So uh, one of the concrete things that we could do uh, is during this call, promote list discussions that are happening. You know, so if there's a list discussion happening that isn't getting enough input, uh, promote it here on the call. We don't necessarily need to talk about and decide on that discussion. But, you know, promote, we want to do X in this specification revision. Uh, there's a thread out there. It needs some discussion. Can everyone take a look at that after the meeting? Here's a link. Yep. Right. So yeah. I would say the 10 specifications should be, should be promoting these types of things into this call because there is a lot of people here who are, you know, independents and they're on this call and I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, and so all of them have the ability to not only use micro profile, but to also further micro profile if, if they're, if participation, if the bar participation is lowered to the point where they can get across it, right? That's really what we're talking about. You know, the, hold on. What we're seeing is the bar is too high for most people, right? Um, it's even too high for if you, even if you're a vendor, it's, it, it can be too high for you. Right. Uh, when I was working in IBM, I had tons of time to do amazing stuff. And I was probably one of the two most biggest contributors to EJB 3.1. And that was all thanks to IBM giving me that time to do that. Uh, and I had a huge impact on it. And it was basically myself and Ken Sachs of Oracle. And we did all the work. And, but nobody else had that kind of time, you know, uh, you know, all the other vendors were there, they were getting acquired, they were doing other things like that, uh, you know, they were busy, they had tons of other responsibilities. So, you know, it's rare when you kind of get that support uh, from a company uh, that, that's able to do that. But the fact of the matter is that doesn't mean that 
it was the right way to do things. It means we had the bar too high for most people to get over. And so lowering that bar to participation is the only way to get more participation. Simply saying more people, simply encouraging people to jump over the high bar really won't get us anywhere. Alex. If I uh, may co comment on that, this is Edwin speaking. Uh, David, what you said is uh, exactly true from my point of view. I am very uh, much of an independent and enthusiastic individual being here. Um, I, uh, I do my best to uh, uh, contribute by mostly blogs and conference talks. But like you said, getting really into the code, into the specification and contributing exactly to a specification is a bar that I, didn't, I just can, can't come over it with the yeah, small amount of time I have next to my daily job. So Thank you for saying that. Yeah, like I, I, I'm making time to be here every week to hear what everybody is doing in the hopes that I can really provide some code sometime, somewhere, don't matter which specification. But until then, I have to yeah, <laughs> arrange my time. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm doing the best I can. That doesn't mean that I'm only always here silent and only listening. I'm trying to, to find my way further in, but it's very slow process to, yeah, like I said, I have a daily job that does not allow very much time to, to really dive into the specifications. Edwin, and you are and doing both. You're contributing for Jakarta and for MicroProfile. Well, before, before we move on, is there anybody else here that are in, that is in Edwin's similar position? Alex was saying something in the chat. Let me pull you to the to the bus. I want to actually I want to actually say uh, something for Alex before you call his name. I want to say Alex said Alex is a really good example. Alex recently uh, brought up a really, really good, important analysis. So that's uh, I would like to introduce Alex to the group with your great contribution already to the group of this conversation. So Alex, you can say something uh, for yourself. I think that we would love to you and everybody else actually to get more involved. Hi, uh, yeah, I mean, from my point of view, um, certainly I follow the micro profile specs and I'm doing this as a sort of a personal um, growth thing, I suppose, really. Um, and although I am a, you know, I'm a small, I kind of do most roles in my, in my work, um, I, you know, I'm not representing my company or anything, but, um, and I chose probably a very controversial topic as my first thing to post into the, the micro profile um, group around uh, logging and whether we need a logging specification. Um, so I, I'm hearing the groans uh, everywhere now. Um, but um, I mean, I find the process so far has been approachable. Um, and maybe that's just through work experience, you know, I have just transferred that and hope they would apply, you know, in a, in a community environment as well. Um, but um, I think, you know, obviously, as I put in the, my, in the comment, um, I follow Emily and some others on this call on Twitter. And it was, I thought, right, I'm just going to ask the question on Twitter to Emily and the micro profile um, handle and just see what anyone says. Um, and so Emily's comment to say, post it into, um, into the Google group was my, my sort of trigger to do so. And I thought just keep going until uh, the run out of steam or, you know, it gets um, some communication going. And, and I think that has so far And it, you know, um, I must admit, I think maybe I've come at this from, that's maybe one angle. I'm only really now kind of going through the, the contribution guidelines that are on the, the wiki, on the wiki.eclipse.org. Um, so kind of maybe I've come at it a bit blind um, and I'm, you know, I'll go through the information on there. Um, but so far it's been an, you know, a decent experience for me, but whether I'm just a bit of a, a strange one or went off, I don't know really. <laughs> Yeah, great. Simple question, Alex. Go ahead. Uh, on that logging thread, how you know how big is the the thread in terms of reprise? 
Um, oh, good question. Um, it's had a decent um, response. Um, probably because it is maybe a controversial topic. I can I can look at it if you can give me a couple of um, seconds. Yeah, my my point was really that you know I've seen that that spread basically, and I've I you know I've answered to it even if you know um, the contribution was small, but I did it because it was clearly a uh, you know um, um, a meaningless discussion. Um, and, and back to the point where, you know, we, uh, we, we need to be able to work uh, asynchronously when, when we have time. Um, I'm glad my, my employer is in this call. <laughs> um, I, I would love to, to get into, uh, you know, all those uh, micro-profile meetings and uh, specifications, but I just don't have time for it. Uh, you know, the, uh, the day work, you know, has some limits. Um, you know, we all have, like, um, a finite amount of time we can dedicate to that. So, if we can make that um, easier for people to contribute uh, asynchronously, I think that that would be great. What is that live thing you're talking about, Alex? Uh, thank you so much for being awesome. I did see also that thread. Is it possible that you added in the summary as an example of how you started to, you know, how do you reach out? And it's not controversial there is no controversial topics in micro profile so if you can add it to the minutes that will be great because we can find it we found it we have an answer for so oh, who is um someone speak up you're, you're you can speak up don't minutes manage to... we have someone that is chatting but we needed him to talk or her to talk there we go. Hi, hey, Manish. You want to you want to go ahead and and, and uh, say what you were typing about? Uh, he he's indicating that his mic is not working. Oh darn it! Okay. Uh, did anybody else want to want to speak up right now or? So could we have uh, more people to speak up? So I, I, I just want to what Manish said because right? not, not many yeah. people would. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so um, it's interesting listening to this. Um, it really seems that we are focusing on the contribution aspect, which I, I think is very good. And then I started to think about you know what Ken posted, and I'm going to just flip this on its head and. Maybe having the limited participation on the specs, maybe that's okay. I mean, the, the reason I'm saying that is because it sounds like we have a lot of contributors, a lot of developers that are using what we are producing. So even if there is a limited contribution, we must be doing something right and it must be acceptable. I mean, you know, I guess if we were hearing a lot of negatives in saying that all of our specifications just sucked and we don't know what we're doing, okay, now maybe we need more, you know, more participation, but maybe we're doing something good here too, you know, uh, just to put a positive on it. Um, may I say something? You know, so our, our self, we also think about ourselves as the purely vendor thing, but it's not the case. So the, what, what are valuable contributions? Of course, writing the specifications, writing the implementations, integrating into some servers, all valuable contributions, but also the feedback from the community is really valuable and um, giving us feedback. We, we should go out and say, okay, folks, you're using it. And we know a lot of companies or users are using this stuff, but we need some feedback. What can we improve? And this is also valuable contribution, which we should kind of try to, uh, to emphasize and, and get back from the people who used all this stuff. We agree. I agree. Like, yeah. In this uh, call, I, like, let me add a disclaimer because I agree with Mark. But when I join these calls, I am not joining I, just as a with my tribe hat on, but also as an individual contributor committer. It doesn't matter the title, right? I am. It's not only that this fits with my profile goal, with Tommy Tribe goals, but it actually adds value to the community as a whole. We have companies or insurance places that provide, I know places that are using micro profile in five different systems with five different systems. They help 
someone that is disabled be able to walk because of our software or one of part of our software. So right, but those companies maybe are government, maybe they're private, so they cannot add or be part of a case study. The thing we do is when something is written or someone is collaborating, like David said, lower the bar. Let's lower the bar. And you know, if we're here, it's not only because we're vendors, but because we care about the value and the adaptability of the project itself and how easy it is to help. If we become, if, if the message becomes so boring that it's so easy to remember, I think that is excellent for us, for everyone involved that wants to be involved, right? Like, like let's not complicate ourselves with vendor, vendor. No, no, we need that individual to write us, issue a PR, and like that we move forward, but just, you know, lower the bar. Yeah, so, yeah, thank you, David. So I would like to like uh, bring up what um, uh, Manish uh, typed in there. So from a ma Manish's point of view, he couldn't find out how can I contribute. So this is kind of also, um, I mean, roughly linked to uh, in the back, like we 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 try to like uh, come up with a better approach on how to easily. I can tell others how to contribute. And in the microprofile IO website, can we create a page like uh, to say how I can contribute? Yeah, so, I still have that as an open task, mea culpa. Well, Philip, you sent something, you sent an update on that. So I've been waiting my turn, so I wanted to give everybody a good oh. round. Uh, and I, I apologize, I'm going to do a quick interruption, so I'm going to, my turn. <laughs> Just a time check. We got 15 minutes left. Are there, I, I looked at the topics. If we've truly covered the next topic, then I've only, I have only have one small item. Is there anything else? We have, I have an announcement about DevX UK, but it's super quick, so. Okay, well, let, let, let's move it to the end. Uh, I just wanted to make, if, if they're both super quick, we can keep having this, this, this discussion, so. Let's go, this David, is really I just good check. Yeah. But, okay, so he, here's the thing that I, I think, uh, one thing that I have noticed in open source communities is when they're seeing people like Ken or on the Tommy side, when I was contributing a lot, seeing me, they don't know how to replicate that, right? And so then they can't because they don't have time. But I noticed that when we did it vote in a new committer, we're almost always voting them in in pairs because when one person saw one person being active, they copied that person because they could they identify with that person. And so what we need to do is not just lower the bar, that's part of it, but we need to highlight people like Alex who are contributing and tell that story about how you can have an impact with the time that you have, right? And so, you know, that is something that, you know, over like December and January on the Tommy side of the fence, you know, we did a whole thing where we were just basically putting the spotlight on new contributors, you know, no matter how small the contribution was, and we got 40 new contributors in two months. Yep. And so, you know, the, the word vendor needs to be discontinued. What we need to be doing is putting a spotlight on the people who, who, who are new in the community and contribute and hold them up for other people who are like them to copy and see, you know, okay, if they can do it, I can do it. You know, I feel encouraged. They, their contribution is valued and I, I, I want to try doing that, you know? So I think let's get a blog post out with an interviewing Alex and talk, ask him about his experience, put his picture on the blog post and put that out. The next time we, any of us sees anybody new in any of the communities, let's put a spotlight on them, right? They won't put a spotlight on themselves. People are not like that. So, you know, we got to do that for them, right? So when, when, when an Alex shows up, we got to put them on a little bit of a pedestal and say thank you and, and, and make an example out of them. And we will have people from this call and outside this call copy them. And, you know, that is probably one of the most helpful things we can do to fill our world full of more Alexes. We're already doing that in the branding side of content. When we have a new writer writing something on Tommy, uh, on micro profile with any aspect, we already 
because we have the issues already in micro profile, latest was David, who wrote an amazing blog. It is now public via the Twitter handle. We are already pushing the, I call them the, the champions, the micro profile champions, though the name has not really been for, formulated and we are not using the tag yet under the Twitter. You can actually see if you check the micro profile Twitter, how the individual not only tracks the issue that was created by the individual by providing the feedback that they will chose to follow, right? It's like, it's not only that we are active on following up who is writing or who is committing sessions or anything like that, but we're highlighting individuals. Right, and, let, let's, let's try this. So is there a member, is there someone on this call who doesn't have time to contribute who would like to interview Alex and ask him how he was able to contribute. And we could put that as a blog post. Is there someone who just wants to interview Alex? You're, you're, from your, you're a person who wants to contribute, you wanna know how he did it, and you wanna ask him some questions. Is there someone here who would be willing to basically interview Alex? You don't have to write the blog post necessarily, you just interview him. Don't, don't we have to ask if Alex wants to be interviewed? <laughs> That, well, that's okay. <laughs> Alex, would, would you be Alex. willing to No, no, Alex, that is a given. You need to share the experience. Good and bad. Would, would, would you be willing to contribute in that way? Yes, I would. Yes. Good. <laughs> okay. The other thing, the other thing, can I add something? I, I think this is a great idea. The other thing is I'm looking at uh, Amelia and some other marketing, uh, I mean, uh, individuals. If uh, like uh, uh, someone like Alex and uh, Edwin and uh, uh, most of you guys uh, and uh, contribute and very uh, supportive with micro profile, can we uh, like um, send them a micro profile teacher? And this is a, a goes. Uh, I mean, it's a great recognition. So it's recognition. So it's a, that says a lot. Yeah. Is that possible? Yeah. Plus one. And, you know, at the moment, we don't have a budget where it says all the partners will pay for this. But yeah, that, is super easy. that is super easy to just own. The thing yes. is, it's super easy to own, but the execution on who will ship it, we don't have, I don't have the bandwidth or the team to go to the post office for two hours and do this. But however, we can get, you know, we can ship. My idea is to have micro profile t-shirts in every continent. And then just, we have job organizations that will enable this kind of thing, right? I think jobs and the communities are the best equipped to handle this kind of distribution because we can support them to get the micro profile t-shirts. And I always go into the fast, efficient way to handle how we spread thank yous. And that means buy the jobs in each country and each city. So that is super easy to implement. We just need to uh, bring it up and say, this is how much we will need to start with. And it needs to be low so that many can help, in, including individuals, into the budget. Two minutes. Yeah. So, Edwin, I, I was curious if you would be willing to interview Alex. And then maybe if he inspires you to contribute and you find a way to do it, someone else can interview you. And we could kind of keep it going like this. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm certainly willing to do something. Uh, it's not uh, unwillingness. Um, yeah, but then I have to find out how to place a blog, of course. So I, I am willing to uh, to interview Alex and create a blog. That's not uh, not a problem. Uh, right, and you should TK and follow up through it. Let's create a blog and put it on the micro profile blog, and uh, you know, and you know, we'll see where it goes. And if the pattern works, then the pattern is someone who just con contributed gets interviewed by someone who kind of wants to contribute. Maybe that person moves up and they become a contributor and somebody else who's hopeful interviews them and asks them, uh, how did you do it? So, uh, so Alex Task, Alex Task, yeah, Alex Task is to write his first issue, say, I will be interviewed by Edwin and this is my mm -hmm. issue and, and let's continue moving forward. All right. I, I, I apologize. I'm going to interrupt here just because of the clock. Um, so, I was just waiting for pause. It was like a 500 milliseconds and I got in there. Okay, so um, the, uh, if, if you wanted to uh, cover your, your, your last topic, Amelia. 
and my, this is really quickly. Please check the uh, the one for contribution con contributors get. Please go through it and check something that we do need help from coders. Just read it on behalf. Of, if you go to the issue and you don't want to read the twenty plus exchanges, just read this part and be able. It has the link and tell you exactly what to do uh, on how to help. So everything, all the data is there. And the other thing that I want to say is that the DevEx you get. Uh, organization has uh, has accepted us accepted my profile as the fifth sponsor of their community party as open source project that is a zero cost for and it happens next Thursday for three plus hours this has been happening since 2015 and I think it's a great honor to be part of the rats because it has plus 600 people and we will have our, the microprofile project will have their own beer and invites everyone who will be at that event. Uh, please follow, I already sent that to the forum to say, you send an issue and say you're going to be there so you can have the paper invites to distribute and be the ambassador. And I just wanted to say, uh, I already said thank you to the DevX UK team for saying, yes, you guys are awesome. The community is awesome. You're open and you make it easy to help and to be part of something. And we want to say thank you to you guys. So that's it. That's my update. Thanks. Thank okay. you. Yes, uh, yeah. Go ahead, quick comment, Emily. Because, yeah, um, I think I really want to say the Heiko said something really, really good. So he said a mailing t shirt in Europe it shouldn't be a problem. So if we can start the uh, t shirt idea in Europe and we'll give it a go, I think uh, it would be, uh, would be great. So maybe we can follow this discussion to see how can we get a t-shirt, uh, I mean, somewhere. Issues, the projects need just an issue and then we will work from it. Okay, I will open an issue on the marketing. Marketing and then, we, and then throw it to the forum and then enable because we can add a bunch of things. It's just so simple, issue and then forum. Okay, no problem, uh, over. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, the last topic is, uh, you know, we have the growing pains document. Um, the problem is that we haven't had a date um, that aligned with the off weeks. Um, the way it looks right now, um, next week is kind of a non-starter because a lot of us are going to be at the Red Hat Summit, um, unless you guys want to have the meeting. Um, then we have another micro-profile hangout, and then we can maybe do it if, it's, if it doesn't... Uh, if it's not the same week as the architecture meeting again. In other words, it keeps getting pushed out. So um, I can either, you know, set up a meeting for the week after next, um, or we just continue the discussion um, in the in the mailing list. Just looking for a little bit of feedback on that. If I set up, the, sorry, if, if I set up the week after next, it'll be at a it'll be a doodle poll to find a time because we week after next is this meeting. Yep. So. A week after next, we'll be in Tokyo. So I won't be able to attend the week of the 13th. Okay. So let's, uh, so let's just do it this way, at least in, in, until we find another open slot. Um, let's be uh, following David's idea, I think, earlier about just bringing issues, threat issues to, the, to this call. Let's be, try to do our best to be active on that thread and make progress on the uh, a feedback, and then we can update the doc. So if everyone can kind of take an action I'm, I, item on that. What I'll do here as soon as I end the call is I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to the Growing Pains document um, right next to this action item, just so it's a, a, an easy link for people. John, can you send an issue and, and we will push it via Twitter? Like we will push it, push it, push it, push it, and that will be easier for everyone to remind us. It's like make it extremely boring, but easier. Can you do that? Or I will own it for you. Let's talk about that in the group because that's a document I kind of almost prefer the people that have been active in it kind of provide feedback on. But we can have that discussion. That's why I'm asking. And to be specific on the kind of feedback you're looking for, when when we raise a thread up, we should just have a little, we're looking for this kind of feedback. So I think in the situation of your document, you laid out uh, four or five different options. And you're looking at feed. You're looking for feedback as to which is the most attractive to you. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. Yep. 
All right. Um, I am uh, going to, it's, yeah. Yeah, just a quick, I looked at the calendar and you are right. So the week after that one on the 21st, we do have an architecture call. Yeah, so we're looking like almost a month out before we can have another call at the slotted yeah, time. So points are writing. Call. It's fine. Yeah. Just this. I, I'm I'm going to try and do it via the Google thread, right, and and see if that is productive. If it's not productive, then I'll have to figure out an, an offline call. Uh, with, with that in mind, we're at the top of the hour. So um, thank you everyone for joining um, the Microprofile Live Hangout. We will have this call again. Uh, in two weeks, same bad time, same back channel. Bad channel. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye